She cried and left the house today, running lost along the interstate, and she never imagined she'd be. He knew no one accepted him, so he planned to leave the world again with a message that someone would see. Hey DP, I'm Connor and I'm here with Melinda Hale. I am a DP alumni, I graduated in 2003 and now I'm living in Los Angeles and I'm a singer, songwriter, an actress, model and an entertainment host. So I just came back to visit and talk a little bit with Connor here on the TV show. I'm so excited. I didn't have this when I was here. This is so cool. <laughs> we're, we're pretty lucky yeah, here at DP. Yeah, great. So I was wondering, um, can you just tell me a little bit about your experience at Dos Pueblos? Yeah, um, I was involved in theater and choir were my main things that I was involved mm -hmm. in. I was also in leadership with Scott Gutentag. Um, I did every show pretty much here at DP okay. Theater Show. I loved it, and I did all the jazz choir competitions. When okay. you know we went to Reno and and Monterey and everything, and so I music and and theater has always been my main passion. Mm -hmm. So it was the biggest thing that I did when I was here at DP, and I was always involved in everything. I knew everybody. I was nominated for Homecoming Queen. I didn't <laughs> win, but I was still nominated, so it was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I had such a great experience here, and it's so crazy kind of walking the halls mm -hmm. that everything looks exactly the same still. I just feel older now. <laughs> wow. Did you notice a lot of the same teachers when you were walking Yeah, around, there were quite or? a few teachers that were still here. Um, I didn't get to see Miss Carey, who's your principal now, and I was telling Connor she was actually my Spanish and history teacher when I was here, so some of you may not know that, that mm. she taught those subjects, but she was one of my favorite teachers. But yeah, I saw Mr. Salcedo, he was also my teacher when I was here. Wow. Yeah. So um, we're interested, what led you to your career in music? Right, well I've always sung. I've always sung. I mean, my mom always says I popped out singing. <laughs> Just <laughs> joking, but um, you know, when I was in elementary school and junior high and even high school, I always did musical theater. I always sang. But when I got to college, um, I decided I wanted to go into their vocal performance program because I had never taken voice lessons before. So I, you know, I went to opera and I got this incredible training and I loved it. And I knew that once I graduated college, I wanted to just hit the ground running, really trying to pursue music. And I don't know what it is, but music has just always been... Um, the easiest way for me to connect with people. It's been my biggest outlet. I love songwriting. I love performing on a stage. So it, it's hard to say what led me to a career in music because it's always just been what I've done. I've always mm. just been huge listening to different music. I grew up with Motown and lots of classic rock and different genres like that. I love listening to how a song is formed. And I love also that music is sort of a universal language and mm. there's always a song that somebody can connect to. So I want to be a part of that world. Oh wow, that that's fantastic! Actually, Thank that's you. a really cool reason. Um, so you're also uh, pretty big in acting right mm -hmm, now. You've been yeah. doing short films, feature yeah, films, mm -hmm. commercials. Yeah. So you started. You did. You told me earlier that you did theater shows. Yeah. So I after I graduated from college, I stayed in LA for about two years. Did mostly music. Then I made the trip out to New York, and I got my equity card out there. And an equity card kind of allows you to be a part of a union, which everyone on Broadway is a part of the Actors Equity Association. So I got that card and I was so lucky. But ironically, all of the shows I auditioned for in New York took me out of New York. So I ended up doing a lot of regional theater just around the country. And it was great. I really love doing theater. I love the live aspect of performing and it was a lot of fun. And after I left New York, I went to Chicago and that's kind of when I made the transition into doing more TV and film. Okay. So I did uh, two big feature films out there that were in the Chicago International Festival. And you know, I won an award for Best Actress for one of the... <laughs> And I actually wrote the theme song for that film too, which is kind of cool. But um, then, you know, I did, did a couple commercials and moved out here. I've been doing a lot of short films and feature films and a national commercial for PetSmart last year and for some web apps. Or, and it was really cool. So it's just kind of, you know, this domino effect. Things just keep coming and coming and coming and making transitions. But right now I'm doing more TV and film and I really enjoy it. 
Cool. So, yeah. I mean, have you been able to find sort of a balance between having a singing career and also having an acting career? I have, and a lot, a lot of people have actually asked me that because singing is my main passion, but I've found that this day and age, being involved in everything only helps further every aspect of your career. So, a lot of the things that I've acted in, like I said, you know, I've written some of the theme songs for the music mm. for, which is a great way to get my music out there in a different way. Um, but it really hasn't been a big struggle trying to do both. It, it's actually been pretty easy, and you know, I perform with my bands on the weekends, and I do film stuff during the week, so it's, I'm lucky that it's worked out that way. Well, great, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So we actually have your old yearbook here <laughs> that, we, that we'd love to take no. a look at with you. <laughs> Back from uh, 2003, oh, 12 geez. years ago now. So let's see, we've got Ancient. class of 2003, here is... There I am. Here you are. Did uh, I say something? Is there a quote? Your, your senior quote right here, actually. You've got, stay focused on the important things and don't forget who your true friends are. That, still to this day, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we, that, you, you appear in this book a lot, actually. Oh, we, we were really so surprised. That's funny. And then we've got you, actually, the most musically inclined. That's very funny. Most likely to receive a compliment from Simon Cowell. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we were. Oh, we, man. We were going through the book and we just all started laughing at how well that worked out for you. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I was involved in a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I haven't looked through this book in ages. Let's see, and then we've got you here in uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. You were in leadership. You want to tell us a little bit about that, actually? Yeah, that was fun. I was an at-large member and um, there I am. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. This feels like such a long time ago. Leadership was one of the best times. Oh, my God, I'm just like blast from the past. I'm like, who do I still talk to? <laughs> um, yeah, it, leadership was a lot of fun. I, I made so many good friends. We had really good times in leadership. I enjoyed it. So if you're in leadership, I hope you're having a great time. You're in leadership. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I am in leadership. I, it's a, it's a pretty... great. I, oh my gosh. Let's see. And then we've got you again. Oh, here's your picture from Jazz Choir, I think. Yep. Oh, right back there. in the day. <laughs> I loved Jazz Choir. Yeah. Oh, so fun. And they're in the back. Oh, there's a see. lot of tabs. Yes, we oh we went gosh. through it, I promise. Theater, and then there we've got I you am. In theater. Oh my gosh, Once on this Island. It's like, oh, so you were actually going to do Once on this Island. I know, that's what year. I heard, and I was so bummed it, because I would have loved to come back to see that. Let's see, and oh then my gosh. we have you again in Friday Night Live. Oh my gosh! I forgot I was even in that. I uh, can you explain to us like what Friday Night Live is? I couldn't even tell you. Okie dokie. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I could not tell you what Friday Night Live was. Uh, all right. Oh man, and I feel embarrassed, but I really don't even remember. It was twelve years ago. And then it looks like you, here you are in Black B Student yes, Union. Yes, BSA. What is this? Uh, uh, let's that see. Up. We've got you here on Rebels of Rhythm. Oh yeah, that was the dance team that was you here. Were, so you yeah. were on a dance team. Yeah, that's yeah, I. I dance, but not really. I do still have some moves, or? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bust any out right now. Okay, okay. But yeah, we did a lot of hip-hop dancing. We performed in the Greek all the time. That's pretty cool. Do you we guys have dance teams here? No, we no? don't have. Oh, do my we... gosh. Oh, we have cheer. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, we did, like, we did, like, hip-hop. That's like, yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was so fun. Okay, what's this last one? I'm this so last scared. one? Is this my class I picture? I think this is your senior picture. Oh, no, this is your, uh, your baby, baby ad. picture? Right. They, they didn't uh, mark it, apparently. <laughs> I know we saw it. Melinda Hill, uh, P. We, her baby ad? We, it's in the very back. I asked that and he said he marked it. ABC. He oh, there it is. Oh, there, there you are. Is. We got oh, you right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, yeah. That Winnie the Pooh bear. That, that, <laughs> I still think I have that Winnie the Pooh bear. I'm not kidding. I, that's, that's so fantastic. funny. Wow. Talk about nostalgia. Well, cool. It's amazing, 12 years ago. We were actually hoping you could sign this at some point. Oh, of course, I would Fantastic. love to. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so just for our last question, we're just wondering if you have any upcoming projects that you'd like to tell us about. Yeah, I'm currently working on my next album. It's actually going to be my fourth studio album that I've released, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to be releasing um, a couple singles, one in March, and then the album should come out in the fall. So you know, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Melinda Hale, and you'll get all the updates. And I follow back, so please, I'd love to connect with everybody. Great. Well, thank you yeah, so thank much. Thank you so for much for having in. me. Really it was great. It. it was wonderful to meet you. Bye, guys. Uh, thanks, DP. I'm Connor Phillips.